Hello guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel Programming Knowledge. In today's Excel VBA videos, we are going to see that how can we work with the delete cells feature in Microsoft Excel. Now if we just open this uh, Excel and create a new sheet by the name of sheet 8, this is where we are going to perform our operations for the delete cells. Then you can see that in the home tab, there is a group name as cells and in this cells we have this delete option so when we just go to this delete option then what options do we have is we can delete a single cell we can delete entire row we can delete entire column and if we want we can delete entire sheet so these are the options that we get so if we just go to this delete cells option then there are uh, these four options that we get entire one entire column is something we have already understood uh, there are these two options shift cells left or shift cells up if you are deleting something say if you are deleting a column then what happens is the data that is um, on the other column will shift to the left but if you are deleting a row then what happens the data in the row that is below it would shift towards the upper side so using these options you can recognize or you can make sure that what option you want to perform so these are the controls that are given to us by microsoft excel and all of these controls is what we are going to see using the vb code in today's video okay so before starting with that what we are going to do is add some text into our sheet so that we are able to identify that what happens so what we are going to do is add unique text in every cell. So for that, what I'm going to do is simply type text 011 and this text 011 uh, or this number actually 011 will help us to identify that this is a unique text and let's just extend it up till now. So we know that uh, this is text is unique and let's just, uh, okay. Uh, let's change its name to text 021 and the name of this text as 031 and when we extend it like this and like this then what we get is some unique pieces of text the reason why we have created so that we can easily identify that what is happening okay so once you're done with your text what you got to do is bring up your vba editor that i have already brought up by using the shortcut alt f11 then let's create a new macro for this purpose go to the insert tab and insert a new module now the name of this module is going to be the delete cells module or uh, it's totally up to you you can use any name for that purpose now in the delete cells module you got to create a sub procedure so let's name it as delete cells and open and close the parenthesis so this is the sub procedure uh, now when we have created the sub procedure, let's see that how can we use the delete cells feature so uh, first of all, let us just create or uh, add a text into a new cell completely new cell that is g6 and let's see that how actually this delete function works so using this range function we first uh, provide it with the name of the cell that is g6 in double quotes and when we put a dot we have this function known as delete now what this delete function will do is it would help us to just delete the contents of the cell now if you execute it you can see that whatever was written in the cell g6 has been deleted but you have no idea that what happens over here whether the cells have been shifted towards the left whether they have been shifted towards the right whatever has happened you have no idea of that however if you just go over this place let's pick up some text that is in between say this b5 if we just try to delete the contents of b5 then uh, please take a note that what is the scenario of the text right now and if i execute this line you can see that what happens is only the cells have been shifted towards the up and there is no shifting of the cells towards the left or um whatever it was only the cells have been shifted towards the up so whenever there is two options of row and column the column will proceed that is the column shifting would happen okay so uh, this is about a single 
um, say cell but what if you want to delete an entire column then what you can do is simply just uh, provide it with a range put a dot and you have a feature in vb known as entire column if you just use this feature then you would be able to use this entire column and you can just delete the text of entire column you can perform any of the operations in the entire column that is referred using the range function now uh, right now we are referring to the b column so whatever function you perform would be performed on this entire b column now you can just put a dot and search for delete now what will happen is entire b column would be deleted and the cells would be shifted towards the left the contents of the c column would be shifted towards the left let's see that you can see that whatever was written in c has been shifted over here and the contents of b have been lost so that was how the uh, shifting left works and that is how this entire column feature of the delete cells works okay now uh, that was about one feature and we have another feature that is how you can shift the cells towards the upwards uh, using a single cell we have already seen it now let's see that how can we do that on a range of cells now if we want to shift the cells towards the up on the range of cells what do we need to have is we need to perform an operation on entire row that is we need to delete an entire row to see that operation so as we have this entire column option available to us similarly we have the entire row option also available to us what will it do is will delete the entire row as it deleted the entire column so delete uh, deleting the entire row would then shift the cells towards the upwards direction so let's see its usage let's just uh, change this code only suppose i want to delete the uppermost row that is a1 on uh, row is referred by a1 you can just put it like this and use this option called entire row put a tab again put a dot and then use this delete option and when you execute it notice what happens this first row whatever was written previously that is 11 and 31 has been removed and this 12 and 32 have taken its place and similarly all the other cells have also taken their preceders place that means all the cells have shifted upwards by one cell so that is how shifting up and deleting an entire row works so this was the usage of the inbuilt functions of deleting entire row and entire columns suppose you have no knowledge of the inbuilt functions that such kind of functions exist then how can you perform this op operation okay now in this case if you want to delete rows there are actually two rows only and if you want to delete the contents of a1 and b1 simply you can write range a1 dot delete and range b1 dot delete that's a simple thing okay but what if you have thousands of rows and you have thousands of columns then what will you do it would be tedious to write all these uh, statements again and again and again the similar statements uh, so what you can do is you can use this range function only simply put a colon and with the starting point you can also provide it with the ending point now what is the ending point over here b1 is the ending point so let's provide it with the ending point that is b1 and now if we just use this delete function then what will it do it will perform the exact same operation of the entire row function but the disadvantage being you need to know the starting as well as the ending point of the row which you want to delete if suppose your uh, row traverses up till h but you uh, just provide it with b1 then only two columns would be deleted and h uh, c to h content would not be deleted so that's not what you wanted that's why it's uh, easy to use those functions entire row and entire column similarly if you want to delete the entire column you can also use the range for that purpose as well suppose it's a1 till a8 that we have over here okay now if you just execute it then you can see whatever content was previously written in a1 till a8 has been deleted and the contents of cell b1 till b8 have been um, replaced by these contents okay now that was when the cells are shifting and you are trying to delete something but 
what if there um you want to delete the content of cell a8 so let's see what happens now if you want to delete the contents of cell a8 put a dot and then use this delete function okay now if you run it what happens is only the cells contains a8 have been deleted and there is no replacement as you can see it because there was no content lying downwards which could be replaced by it that's why there was no replacement similarly now if you just delete any of the content suppose um if you uh, want to delete a1 contains and let's just duplicate it over here as well okay now if we want to delete the contents of b1 then no shifting left or no shifting up would happen why because there is no content to be replaced with if you just execute it then simply this text vanishes from here and there is no shifting operation so that is all about the delete uh, delete cells feature in microsoft excel thanks for watching